Hello and welcome to our first installment of Admirals All Access. I'm Aaron Sims. This season for the Milwaukee Admirals started off in a very similar fashion as to those in the past. The Admirals are near the top of the division like they are used to being at this point in the season. The Admirals are a young team as they are used to being at this time of the season. But they've made some changes. In the offseason, the big change was Kirk Muller was named the head coach, the 18th head coach in the history of the Milwaukee Admirals. Muller had been an assistant with the Montreal Canadiens the past Last five seasons before coming to Milwaukee, he was a hot candidate for several jobs, not only in the American Hockey League, but the National Hockey League. Muller reached out to Nashville Assistant General Manager Paul Fenton during the offseason and wanted to be a head coach at this level. But things changed rather quickly after just 17 games in which the team went 10-6-1. Muller took a job with the Carolina Hurricanes to become that team's head coach. So the Admirals had a new head coach. It was assistant coach Ian Herbers. Nashville assistant general manager Paul Fenton talks about the changes. From, from our standpoint, uh, Ian brings everything. He is a, uh, a motivator. He's a teacher. Um, he's a great person. He, he has feelings for what the kids are going through because he had such a long career himself. He knows the ups and downs of of playing in uh, both the minor leagues and in the National Hockey League and he understands the game. He can see the systems and, and for me what he's going to be able to do is think on his feet as a coach on the bench and make the adjustments that he's going to have to do for us to be successful here. Well there's been a little bit of talk before what was going to happen but didn't really know what for sure and it was definite and then more disappointed about the weekend that we played in Charlotte. That wasn't our greatest set of games during the season so far. So that was the biggest concern there but found out afterwards after that Sunday game in Charlotte on the bus talking to Curdy pulled me aside and uh, discussed what his plans were and what was happening and, and he gave me the information and it, sitting at the airport in Charlotte Paul Fenton gave me a call and offered me the position as head coach here. So it was a bit of a whirlwind day, had to get ready for our first weekday game during the season and which was ended up being a good thing not much time to think about it and uh, just move on from there. Ian is so good uh, he's, he's, uh, he's amazing he'll watch the game and pick up things right away so for me to be uh, be around him I'm, I'm, I'm gonna learn quite a bit. Well, you may have noticed that Martin Jelena was listed as the interim assistant coach when he spoke about working with the new head coach, Ian Herbers. On December 5th, the Admirals introduced their new assistant coach. He's Stan Drulia. Drulia has been a head coach at the lower levels in minor league hockey for the last several seasons and is a former teammate of Admirals head coach Ian Herbers with the Detroit Vipers in the old IHL and with the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Admirals, as I mentioned before, started off as a young team once again, but several players are back after at least a cup of coffee with last year's club. Among those players, off to a good start, Michael Latta, one of the top scoring rookies in the league, also among the league leaders amongst rookies in penalty minutes. Taylor Beck is off to a fine start. Ryan Ellis is a first round pick in 2009 that has very high hopes. And Jeremy Smith has picked up where he left off in last season's playoff games and has really turned in a nice start for this team. Well, I've been real pleased with Jeremy Smith, certainly. I mean, he, he picked up where he left off last year. He was real solid last year when Mark Dekanich got hurt and the numbers of games he played down the stretch and, and in the playoffs and he's done a real good job for us and he gives us a chance to win every night. Well, you know, one guy that, that has had success here already in the scoring goals is Pustin and, um, and he's really had a fast start for us. He's kind of a quiet type of player that sits in the in the weeds a little bit and then you put the puck on his stick and it's in the net. Um, he's a guy that I, that I would concentrate on and, and look at and, and hopefully he'll continue to put more pucks in the net for us. You know, second guy that, that I really think is undervalued here is Mark Van Gilder. Um, you know, your, your fans know him because we've had him here for a number of years, but he pushes the, the limit with his, uh, with his talent level every night and wants to be a National Hockey League player. So to me, Mark is headed in the right direction. As far as leadership on the team too, a guy like Scott Ford, having him, he's been great with our young players. Um, He's uh, very positive, works both on and off the ice. We have a very good core of leadership group that we have in this dressing room as well, from your Sloans and your Van Gilders and Mueller's Thangs and guys that have been here for a year or so. Great group of leaders, they lead by example. 
Well, this hardworking Admirals team has several more home games in this 2011-2012 season for you to come out and watch. As a matter of fact, the players have taken it upon themselves to be hardworking, but also to acknowledge their hard work. They're calling themselves all season long the Pesky Ads. You can check that out on Twitter if you happen to be there and look for the hashtag Pesky Ads. It's probably one of the players talking about their most recent game. We're going to step out, and when we come back, the annual traditional, one of the great holiday traditions in hockey, the teddy bear toss. You're watching Admirals All Access.